Hi, this is Andy Armacost. Thanks for tuning in again this week. And accompanying this video is a great letter that highlights the rationale for why we're operating commencement the way that we are and the chances that we have to honor each of our graduates. And in addition to the virtual commencement that we're offering this spring, we do invite all of our graduates, both from this year and also last year, to come back and celebrate graduation in person in August. And so pay attention to the, to the details of that letter. What I wanted to focus today's video on is what's happening on the eastern part of the campus. And soon you will start seeing Memorial Stadium being taken down. And Memorial Stadium, which was built in 1927, was designed to honor the legacy of those who fought in World War I. And it's important to, to make sure that we sustain that recognition, which we'll do with the design of the facility that's going to replace it. The new facility will consist of new housing units for students, but also the de Department of Athletics offices, uh, which will be on the first floor of that building. And so again, honoring the legacy of our World War I veterans and all veterans on our campus is really important as Memorial Stadium comes down and this new facility goes up in its place. In addition, right across the field from, uh, from Memorial Stadium is the High Performance Center. The High Performance Center, with the approval yesterday by the State Board of Higher Education, is now going to be known as the Fritz Pollard Junior Athletic Center. And you have to know a little bit about Fritz Pollard. He was a 1939 graduate of UND, one of first, the first two black graduates from our university. In addition, he competed in the 1936 Olympics in the hurdles, and he won the bronze medal. He would later serve in World War II in uniform, and, uh, and he also would earn his law degree and have a long distinguished career in the Department of State. Fritz Pollard is a name that we all should know. He's a, a true legacy, a true legend here at UND, and he left a great legacy here on our campus and across the nation. So we, we proudly put his name on this building. So until next time, uh, when we have a chance to talk again, uh, be safe, uh, be well, and we will see you soon.